Welcome to the first shift equipment fit demonstration video. Today I will walk you through how to properly dress and fit your new to hockey player. If there's one thing I can tell you about hockey equipment, it's that safety must always come first. We want all players to be comfortable and mobile while on the ice, while always ensuring proper protection. This video will hopefully prepare you for a fun and safe first shift out on the ice. I'd like to introduce you to Marin and Reuven, two players new to hockey who are really excited to get on the ice today. Most players begin by putting on their base layer. We call it base layer because it offers a layer of protection between your skin and your equipment. This piece has a few features that I'd like to walk you through. Starting with the back, we have the zipper. Now the zipper always goes on the back. Next are the Velcro straps. This is to attach your hockey sock, which we'll walk through in a little bit. Each base layer unit also comes in with a built-in jock or jill. Most importantly, each piece comes in with a built-in B&Q certified neck guard. Now this protective base layer unit is exclusive to Bauer Hockey. This is the shin guard, which covers the leg from the knee down to the foot. A few features on here are one, the Velcro strap, which attaches to the front of the pad, the donut on the inside of the pad where your knee should comfortably rest, as well as the indication on which leg this goes on, the right or the left. We are now putting on the hockey sock, which goes over top of the shin guard and attaches to the Velcro. Moving on next to the hockey pants. A few areas of protection to note here are the top areas of protection, the side and front of the leg, as well as the back side. On the front, you'll find lace or a buckle to secure in place on your hips. These pants are a great fit. As you can see, they overlap the knee just a little bit, allowing mobility for the player for when they bend in their stride. We don't want it to be too long for it will hinder that bend, but we also don't want it to be too short for it may not offer optimal protection. Up next is the hockey skate, a very important piece of equipment. It provides protection of the foot as well as it allows you to skate. A properly fitted skate is extremely important to the development of a hockey player. If the skate is too big or too small, it may lead to a less enjoyable experience for the player on the ice. An important note when sizing a skate is to know that skate sizes are often one to two times smaller than your shoe size. An indication of a properly fitted hockey skate is when the player is bent into their hockey stance, they should be able to just graze the front of the skate with their big toe. Up next are the shoulder pads. These will slide over the player's head and attach to the front of their body. The key areas of protection are the shoulder cap, the front, as well as the back. When the shoulder pads are secured to the body, they should be resting comfortably on the shoulders, nice and snug. The bicep pad will then meet up with the top of the elbow pad, which we put on next. The front and back will meet up with the top of the pants. After the shoulder pads, we move on to the elbow pad. This provides protection of your elbow. The strap goes around the arm, attaches to the front. Much like the shin pads, we have the donut on the inside where the elbow should rest comfortably. On the front side, we have left and right indications. Once the elbow pad is on, you want the bottom of the shoulder pad to be touching the top of the elbow pad. When we put the glove on, you'll see that it connects at the bottom. You also want the player to be able to comfortably bend their arm. Onto a very important piece of equipment, the helmet. There are many different helmets on the market, but only one bearing a visible CSA sticker may be worn. There are also many different shapes and sizes to helmets, just like our heads. The most important note I can give you today is that make sure you find a helmet that fits you best. When putting the helmet on, you want to adjust the helmet so that it fits snug to the head. Not too tight, not too loose. You want approximately one to two finger widths between the eyebrows and the helmet. And lastly, when closing the face mask, you want the chin to rest comfortably inside the chin guard. After adjusting the chin strap, you want a nice snug fit underneath the chin. One of the last pieces of equipment that you will be putting on is your hockey glove. This offers protection of the wrist, front of the hand, and fingers. On the inside of the glove, the palm is soft, providing a better feel for the stick in your hand. You will know that a glove fits properly if the top of the glove meets up with the bottom of the elbow pad. 
this providing full coverage of the arm. In terms of the fit in your hand, you want your fingers to be snug, but not touching the end of the glove. When choosing a hockey stick, it's most important to establish which way your player shoots, left or right. The easiest way to figure this out is to let the player tell you what feels most comfortable in their hand. Next is finding the right height of the stick. Now this is very important for a new to hockey player to develop their skills. When on the skates, the stick should come up between their nose and their mouth. Lastly is the taping of the stick. On the top, we add tape for added grip, and the bottom is meant for more control of the puck. Thanks for taking the time to watch and learn how to properly fit and dress your new to hockey player. You two look ready to hit the ice. You ready to go? Yeah! yeah. Woo, let's go!